can buy cattle guards a lot of places and a lot of people build them. But let me tell you why ours is just a little bit different than everybody else's for about the same money. First of all, I've turned the cattle guard over so I can show you what goes on underneath. It's where the guts of the cattle guard are. First thing on the front, we put a dirt kick plate on both ends. That way when you're driving back and forth across the cattle guard, you're not pushing dirt under it all the time. Then you gotta clean it out all the time. The next thing we do, we use high tensile steel pipe. You see that bracket right there? That bracket is water jet cut. What that does is it allows us to weld all the way down the length, the stitches you see there, and then we can weld fully halfway around each individual top rail. That keeps them from jiggling loose and popping out and having problems down the road. These cattle guards are tough. We put on the end, we put a cap. That cap is to keep corners from building nests in there and other critters from getting in. So what I'm telling you is if you're gonna have a cattle guard, why not have one that's tough? Why not have one that's bison tough?